Hello, and welcome to the virtual product display at Schenck Process. I'm Jonathan Thorne, the Director of Process Technology, and today I'll be discussing advanced conveying techniques. I'm here at our main test facility in Kansas City, Missouri, which is part of our head office for Schenck in the Americas. And I hope to provide explanation in conjunction with demonstration of our unique conveying technologies. For those of you less familiar with pneumatic conveying, I will give a brief overview of the technology. Then we will discuss our enhanced dilute phase conveying system, or EDIP. Pneumatic conveying is the transport of dry materials through pipelines using air or some other gas as the motive force for transportation. There are two primary modes of transport dilute phase and dense phase flow. In dilute phase, the air velocity is elevated in order to entrain the particles and carry them down the convey line. The resulting flow of air and material creates pressure drop in the system proportional to the rate and the distance. The air source, usually a positive displacement blower, then delivers the needed airflow to drive the material down the line. A rotary airlock valve allows the continuous feeding of material into and out of pressurized areas of the system. Here we see the valve feeding material into a pressure dilute phase system. Dilute phase can also be accomplished by using vacuum where the material is pulled to the destination and the rotary valve is placed on the receiver to discharge the product against the elevated vacuum present. Most any material can be conveyed in this manner, as in the case of extremely abrasive or fragile materials, sometimes dilute phase is not recommended. Enhanced dilute phase, or EDIP for short, is a novel method for operating dilute phase systems. The typical dilute phase system uses the worst case conditions for the system design, such as highest rate and longest distance, to determine what speed to operate the blower. The blower is then set up to deliver this max condition, which ensures there will always be enough air when it's operated in the field. However, this also means that in nearly every case, there is more air and hence velocity than is required to operate the system. Now, it may be 5% more or it may be 25% more. It's rarely ever quantified. As the price of VFDs came down dramatically over the last 10 years or so, we began to see more blowers capable of speed control. But you had to have a reason to adjust the speed, and if the system was working, you were unlikely to slow it down much. The development of an algorithm to direct the blower speed changes all this. The EDIP controller takes in real-world information about the system, such as line size, blower characteristics, and convey pressure from a transmitter to set the blower at the ideal speed. The benefits of velocity control on dilute phase systems was showcased in a powder and bulk engineering article this past March. It outlines the advantages of operating the blower at a slower speed while still conveying material reliably at or near the minimum entrainment velocity. These benefits include apparent ones like energy reduction and material protection, as well as less quantifiable benefits like abrasion and buildup. Here we see plastic pellets being conveyed with normal design speeds on the blower across the typical distance. The lower velocity in the system is 3,800 feet per minute. The blower is running around 50 hertz, and the energy to drive the blower is around 16 kilowatts. When we engage the EDIP controller, we can observe a distinct difference in the flow. When we look at the operation now, we see the lowest velocity is 2,500 feet per minute, the blower is running 35 to 40 hertz, and the energy to drive the blower is around 12 kilowatts. This is a 35% reduction in velocity and 25% reduction in energy consumption. Other influences like degradation and abrasion generally go down by the square of the velocity, so they would be reduced by at least half. In this next example, we are conveying at the same rate, but at a shorter distance. In a standard dilute phase system, this would cause the velocities to increase. With EDIP, we see a blower slow down of 32 hertz and maintain the same air velocity and yield the same conveying results. Here we see a different material, chia seed. A typical design velocity for seeds would be 3,600 feet per minute. But here the controller allows us to operate reliably at 2,800 feet per minute. 
In a seed processing application, this would equate to better, more viable product on the receiving end. So EDIP is an innovative control system that can improve the performance of virtually any dilute phase system. This includes energy savings from 10 up to 40%, depending on the situation. The pneumatic conveying systems discussed here today represent technology only found at Schenck Process. For more information, please visit us at the link below. From the team here at Schenck, thank you.